Happy Sunday, uh, Yazo. Happy Sunday. What, what is this that you poured me? Uh, the rest of the monkey shoulder. Hmm. A cheeky monkey shoulder, you reckon? Mm -hmm. Let's pop that over there. Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we are doing a pork loin. Uh, we are going to do a battle between sous vide and Kamado Joe, cooking them slowly and uh, seeing which one is better. Um, that's it. That's all I've got to say for Wonderful. an intro, Yazo. Mm -hmm. Got anything comedic you want to say? Not yet. Not yet. The whiskey hasn't <laughs> set in. Let's go. <laughs> Pork loin, pork loin. Uh, best part about pork loin, get this, Yazo, get this. $10.99 Australian a kilogram. 36 bucks for over three kilos of pork. Uh, times are uh, expensive, as we found out last night when we went for dinner, Yazo. My God, our time's expensive. And to get something this cheap, uh, is a blessing. So what we're going to do, and my plan is this, um, we're going to cut this in half, we're going to do half uh, sous vide, half on the Kamado Joe, we're going to test it, we're going to see which is better. Uh, gonna... We're going to do some, <coughs> what are you doing? I went to speak and my <laughs> phlegm stopped me. That's weird. What the fuck is wrong no, with this? I was this? just going to say we're going to eat pork for three weeks. Pork loin for, yeah, I might give some to the old man who's uh, coming over tonight. Um, we're going to do some uh, roast potatoes maybe, I don't know. Um, mm, yeah. The one thing I am going to show you is some sweet and sour peppers to go on top, which is going to be awesome. So let me just drain the uh, liquid mm -hmm. out of the bag, <laughs> of which Yasmin is disgusted by. Where are you draining it? And we'll be back in the sink, Yazo. Mm. What are you pointing at? Look. I'm talking. Sorry, sorry. Here is my That's really here is my aggressive face. with the knife. Here is my face. Let me uh, deal with this. Okie dokes. Uh, well, how Aussie's that? Bloody hell. Is that Aussie? Okie dokes. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. All right. Bring in all of my accoutrement. All over here from the side. All right, so uh, I haven't exactly cut that in half because uh, my measurements were shit, but um, it's close enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and treat these exactly the same way. Excuse me, um, Jeff, you're yelling. Just calm down a little. Calm down a bit. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Uh, yeah, all right. Actually, what I might do... I do like to, um, not ideal because they're in here, I should have done it on the board, but I do like to scruff them up a bit and come across here, so. So do you leave that little bit of fat on there? Yeah, I don't think it matters. You can trim it off if you like, but I think it's fine. But it's not silver skin or anything like that? Oh, there's a tiny bit, but it'll be fine. No worries. I like to scruff them up a little bit, allows the um, stuff to penetrate a little bit more. Um, there's no real word like massive um, you know kind of trick to it or whatever just score it a little bit don't go too deep but what do you penetrate it with i'm gonna show you in a minute uh, what hey. and then you said i don't like to go too deep i think you do <laughs> The hell, Yasmin? Keep it G-rated, for Why goodness they sake! Pay me the big bucks. YouTube are gonna take our shit off being <laughs> paid, and I'm not gonna get my bloody Scotch money at the end of the month <laughs> to take it and go to bloody Dan Murphy's to buy whiskey. Anyway, uh, a little bit of olive oil, and uh, we'll just uh, do that business like that. Both sides. Nice. All right, now here I have, oh, Jesus, I nearly tipped it everywhere. This did look pretty before <laughs> did I did that. Um, I've got, uh, what have I got here? About uh, two thirds of a cup of herbs from the garden. Um, you know, sage, thyme, all that friendly shit. Um, I've also got four cloves of garlic here. So I'm gonna, oh, now, oh, now I've got oh, shit everywhere. Oh. See, now I had it in half and now- Frazzled, what? under pressure. Fucking hell. All right, and uh, just give that a rub rub. Like that, rub that in like that. Uh, get some of that, get some of that in there. 
get it in nice and deep like Okay, when I say it, it's, I don't know, it's more subtle. <laughs> well, I don't just like the sound of my voice, but I'm... You love the sound of your own I voice. Do. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I do. That's okay. Turn this shit over. It says you. Split it in half. Okay. Hey, look. YouTube channel. <laughs> no, you need a YouTube channel. Don't mean a rock band. No, no. A rock band. Oh, what do you call it? What, what kind of band am I in, Yazo? Is a it not a rock band. band? A cover band. Yes, it's a cover band, but it's still rock music. Bon Jovi are in a rock band. Jack. Rock music, pop music. Hey, look, you play drums for three hours and see how you like it. I don't like it. I'm very famous and popular, I'll have you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. This is no good. good. Um, salt. Be generous, it's a big bit of meat. You're not going to... You're not going to over season it. Pepper. Give it, a, give it a good going over. You know what I'm saying, Yazo? Mm -hmm. So much food. <laughs> yeah, but we'll give some away. Don't worry about it. It's, uh, you know, don't stress. The power of editing, just all of our random conversations in between takes, it's uh, so good. Uh, a bit of pepper. Great. Awesome. Look at mine. Already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a pisshead. What a drunkard. Uh, uh, that's it. Um, so that's that marinated. Um, ideally, you would let this sit for at least, you know, kind of two to four hours. Um, that's what we're going to do. Um, so let it sit, let it marinate, let it soak in, let it do its business. And then we'll come to the next bit. It's going to be good. I can tell you're excited, Yazo. Creepy eyes. Sexy man, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm, <laughs> that was no good. No. I'm gonna confess we haven't quite waited four hours, but that's fine. Um, so um, let's drop the sous vide one in the baggie. Put that one out of the way. Just, just like that. All right, let's grab this guy and, and seal it up. Moist setting, yeah. So uh -huh. moist. Very important. Moist. That it remains <laughs> moist. <laughs> all right, take that out. Ooh. That's all done. So that's uh, lovely and wrapped and uh, vacuumed. Uh, the sous vide is set for 64 degrees Celsius. Um, so we're going to cook this obviously um, to an internal temperature of 64 degrees Celsius, anywhere between four to six hours. Uh, time equals tenderness. At six hours, it is very tender. At four hours, if you like it a little bit more bitey, a little bit more uh, kind of chew and steak-like, go for a, a lesser amount of time. Um, and this is the only difference between this and the Kamado Joe. With the Kamado, when we get to that point in the cook, we're gonna cook it to 62. And the reason for that is that you get carryover. The aim of the internal temperature to finish is around about 66 degrees Celsius, which leaves you with a very, very slightly blushing center. Do not be afraid, especially with pork loin, of um, not cooking it all the way through because uh, there is very little internal fat in this and it will dry out and become like cardboard if you overdo it. I've tested this a lot. That's my preference. I'll leave it up to you, but that's what I reckon. Uh, let's get this into sous vide. Cables, it's the bane of my life. Uh, pork loin, Kamado Joe's heated to 120 degrees Celsius, 250-ish Fahrenheit, whatever the hell that is, work it out. Um, and we're gonna cook this guy. Um, I'll just touch on uh, Yazo. So, I think I mentioned before, the only difference in this cook is we're aiming for an internal temperature in the sous vide 
for 64 degrees. For this guy, an internal temperature of 62 degrees. And the reason for that is that sous vide cooks at the exact temperature, you can't go over. It's ambient temperature is exactly the same as your internal, so I can't go over. In the Kamado Joe or in your oven, which you could also do this in if you like, um, obviously the temperature, the outside temperature is hotter and we are gonna get a little bit of carryover. So um, I go two degrees less on, on, um, on this one uh, to allow for that carryover because we want our internal temperature to finish uh, once everything is done, because we'll do a little bit of searing as well, um, we want it to finish at 66, which gives us that moist, very, very slightly blushing center. So, uh, probe is in. This should take an hour, an hour and a half, or something like that. Uh, okay, grab some tongs, let's go put it on. There we go. We'll see you soon. Okay, yeah. sweet and sour peppers. Uh, a couple onions, a couple uh, peppers, capsicums. Um, uh, I got these long ones because that's uh, pretty much all the gross I had. The other ones look crap, but work with what you got. Uh, a couple of onions, just slice them through. Just try not to get them everywhere, Jeff. Something like that. With the peppers, so I'll cut these ones in half. Um, put the little end off, and then split it and roll it, and just like that. And just you just want like thin strips. You wouldn't need to cut in half if you're using a regular bell pepper capsicum, whatever you choose to call them in your country. Seed put out. Nice. And through like that. Alright, bit of olive oil in. And in we go. Just like that. Make sure you get a good sizzle. Alright, a bit of salt and pepper. And you want about uh, two teaspoons of sugar, just dust that over the top. Nice. Uh, one clove of garlic in. One very large clove. Okay. One very large clove. One very large clove. <laughs> and make sure you maintain the um, the, the good heat, the good sizzle, because if you don't, uh, they will drop their liquid and you'll start stewing them, which is not what you want. You want them to be sautéing. What did I say before about you not having a show without me? Go <laughs> get yourself a little stand that talks. <laughs> Um, uh, just cook these through uh, until they start to get tender. A uh, few minutes. Uh, and then uh, a little balsamic vinegar. Um, a few tablespoons of that. Alright, so when they're tender, just um, a couple of tablespoons, tablespoons of olive oil to uh, dress it up. Yeah. Right. And 
heat off. Done. All right, we're good to go. Nice and hot. Um, we're just a um, couple minutes each side here. Good. I'm calling it. I reckon the sous vide combo. I just got a feeling I reckon the sous vide combo is going to win this one. Yes, or what do you reckon? I'm willing to try some both for it. <laughs> just for science. When you really late, <laughs> I want my dinner. <laughs> All right, Yazo, yeah, so I reckon we're good to go. He's in here. All lovely and seared off. Uh, we'll give these a five minute rest and then we'll cut into them and see how we did. All right, we're all done. Let's take a slice of each and we'll compare. First, we've got the uh, Kamado Joe one. Oh, I don't know, Yaz, I might be wrong here. That looks pretty damn moist to me. <laughs> what do you think? We'll take a little, take a little slice. So is, are you going to taste? Is that what, like, like, okay, yeah. Yeah. And we'll take a slice of the sous vide one. And we'll be fair, we'll take it out of the middle. Ooh. See, for me, the cooking, Ooh. the cooking of that is more to my liking. Oh, pop that there. I think the sous vide's looking a little moister. A little, a little you know, well, I think they look equally as moist. Oh, this is going to be a tough one, isn't it? But you it? must remember that that one has the pink of the. All right, we're going to get a cup, a bit of our, our uh, little bit of our sweet and sour peppers to put on each one, just like just like that. And they look great, by the way. They do look good. Just like that. No, not too much. All right, first the Kamado Joe one. Let's have a look here. That one looks pink. It's got a, it's Is number that one. Smoke? No, get smoke. me for a second, please. Number one, number one, don't be scared of cooking pork through, first of all. Number two, the smoke uh, from the charcoal uh, puts a little bit of a pink hue on the on the flesh. So, but don't, don't be scared of pork. C cook it blushing. Don't cook it all the way through. Number one. Mm. There comes the creepy eating time. Mm. How are you guys? Okay. Number one? Yep. Number two. Little uh, cheeky. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sous vide. It's got to give me a taste of sous vide. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so instantly oh. the mouthfeel of the sous vide is softer. It is. Um, for me, I like the sous vide more. I think a meat eater, like a proper meat eater, which I am not, would like. I, I find it actually very hard to, I, I find it very hard to make a call, I've got to be honest. Um, I think... Are we putting I this think, on the Kamado Joe channel? <laughs> I think the Kamado wins hands down. I think, <laughs> I think the Kamado Joe one has slightly more complex of flavour. And, and let's not get too carried away, we're talking about pork loin. Pork loin is lean. But the benefit of both of these is they are soft, they are tender, they are not dry at all. And that is a win. As to who, which one wins, you have to have a win. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with sous vide only because you said it. I personally can't make a call. I don't know, guys. You need to test this. You need to try it out. You need to come back to me and let me know what you think. Um, thanks for hanging around with us. We'll sous vide wins. Soon. Okay, bye bye. Cheers.